So, why was I arrested for assaulting a Belgian train conductor? Well, because he totally had it coming and I would do it again. Sorry, sorry, that's just the Dutchman in me talking. Actually, before I can tell you the Belgian story, I have to tell you a different story that happened in the Netherlands first. Because it was a Saturday afternoon and I was driving in the share car, and by that I mean my father-in-law has a very nice car, which he doesn't use very often, so we said, do you have a spare set of keys? Yeah, now it's a share car. Our story begins as I pull off the highway to go refuel my car at a place which Americans would call a gas station, which is just confusing because you can get gasoline, you can get natural gas, and anything you eat there will give you gas. It's just unspecific. Whereas the Dutch term tank station is only confusing if you're driving a tank. So there I am at the tank station, and this guy comes up, and he says he's with the police. He's got no uniform, no police car, but he does have a police ID. He says, I've been following you on the highway since Utrecht, which at this point is like half an hour ago. And he says, I need to see your driver's license. There are a number of things going through my head, most of which are, do not give this man your ID. But, ladies and gentlemen, let it stand as testimony to how well integrated I am. My instinct to be a good law-abiding Dutch citizen somehow outweighed my very strong instinct that I'm being scammed. And I'll add, he looked like a cop, the typical white boy, blonde, bullet head, buzz cut. And he explained, he says he knows this is awkward, but he is under obligation to write me a ticket because apparently I've done something that is completely illegal. I wasn't going fast enough for the lane I was in. He's very sorry, but he needs to see my ID. My brain is saying, what are you doing? Don't do this. You're never gonna see this driver's license again. He went away, he said, I'll be right back. And now my brain kicks in and says, we're calling the police. So I call the Dutch 45 cents a minute police hotline and I tell the woman my story quickly in Dutch and she says, this is entirely consistent with the behavior of an off-duty police officer because they are trained to intervene if they see laws being broken. But really, Netherlands, is this kind of behavior from your police what you would consider normal? Or is it, as my African-American friend puts it, some bullshit? And now to explain exactly what I did wrong, I have to get stupidly specific. Of the five lanes on the highway, I was driving in this one. I was going exactly the speed limit, which I made damn sure of because I know from that stretch of road, if you go just a little bit over, they will slap you with a speeding ticket from the many speeding cameras. Speeding cameras which were invented in the Netherlands, meaning Dutch police were the first ones to be replaced by automation, which may help explain their motivation for now driving around in their spare time administering justice at tank stations. Now for the record, I was passing people on my right, but apparently not enough. Apparently the rule is, as much as possible, you must drive as far as possible to the right at all times. Dutch police, forcing society to the right as much as possible. But not only that, by making me drive in the slower lanes, it is quite literally retarded. Now I'm aware that this principle of pushing all the traffic to the right exists in other countries, but it must have originated in the Netherlands. This is the country that invented the philosophy, wide open spaces are to be avoided at all costs. If anyone starts to leave the herd to travel at their own speed or do their own thing, they must be punished and brought back into the fold as quickly as possible. Do mar gewoon. Just act normal. And yet, in the end, I am happy for my experience. For one thing, now I have an excellent example when I'm trying to explain the Dutch term Mierenuker. But more importantly, it means I'm still proud to be Dutch because Compared to this, what happened in Belgium was so much worse. And I'll tell you that story in the next video. Bye -bye.